Clean, 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 clean. Ooh! Hey, hey, oh! Hello! Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. I'm just doing the cleaning. Woo! Woohoo! The counter gets a good polishing and I get to go skating. Way! Yes, okay then. See you tomorrow. Oh, oh, small. Small. What is it, Ben? I've got a problem. Oh. You know my mum and dad are coming to stay with me tomorrow. Oh, yes. Well, they've just rung to say they're going to bring my uncle Len and my auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife Pen. But I haven't got enough beds for them. Where are they all going to sleep? Well, I'd love to help, Ben, but I think my egg cup's going to be a little bit too small <laughs> for them. <Yes. laughs> well, we'll have to worry about that later, Ben. We've got a customer. It's cooking time. Woohoo! <sighs> Who is it today, Small? Well, that's a surprise. She's wearing a crown and a beautiful dress. I'm not sure who that could be. Do you know? It's a princess! A princess? In our cafe? Yes! Quick, Small, we better find her something to eat. You can't keep a princess waiting. You know, I think I know this princess. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. There was once a princess who fell in love with a prince. They wanted to get married. But first, the prince's family had to make sure that she was a real princess. So the prince's mother, the queen, put a tiny pea on the princess's bed. And on top of the pea, she put 20 mattresses. And on top of the mattresses, she put 20 duvets. And the princess had to go to bed on top of all that. The next day, the queen asked her how she'd slept. And the princess said, Oh! Very badly. There was a big lump in my bed. I haven't slept a wink. When she heard this, the Queen knew that only a princess could have skin soft enough to feel a tiny pea through all those mattresses. And so the prince and princess were married and lived happily ever after. Well, almost. Because sleeping on all those mattresses and duvets was giving the princess a few problems. First, it was taking her ages to climb into bed each night. Second, she kept bumping her head on the ceiling. And third, if she rolled over and fell out of bed, she had a long, long way to fall. But the princess had to sleep on all those mattresses and duvets, because otherwise she could feel every tiny lump in the bed. Then I had a brilliant idea. I took her a special bed called a hammock. A big comfy net. Now the princess didn't need to worry about any lumps and bumps. She loved her new bed and she slept like a dream. Little Cook Small to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, well done, Small. The hammock was a great idea. Woohoo! Oh, thanks, Ben. But now we need another great idea. We need to cook a meal fit for a princess. Oh, yes. There's a princess in our cafe. Ah! <gasps> we could... <can't... sighs> I know. Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course. The Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, small! Look at this! Princess pie! Woohoo! Well, would you believe it, Ben? A bed for a princess with a soft pea mattress. Oh, she'll love this. You read out the ingredients, small, and I'll go and see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need one packet of short crust pastry. Short crust pastry in the fridge. Here we are. Yes, got that. Short crust pastry. 
Then we're going to need some peas. Peas? Um, I'm not too sure about the peas, small. Double cream. Double cream, yes, got that, definitely. Double cream. Eggs. Two eggs. One and a two. And mint. Mint. Oh, yes, mint. Got that as well. Oh, is that everything? What about the peas, Ben? Oh, I don't think we've got any peas, Small. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Oh, yeah. And I'll get all the ingredients ready while you're away. Great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoa! Whoa! Go, Small! Go, Small! Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Hey, hey, I've come to the right place here. That's a big red machine. It's collecting all the peas. There they are. The peas live inside those long green pods. What's that machine doing? It's sucking up all the peas. In they go. The peas are being taken out of their pods. Oh, look. There's three harvesters. One, two, three. And the one at the front has an orange flashing light. That means it's full of peas. And here's the tractor to collect them. Look at all those peas. Off they go. I wonder where they're going. Let's find out. There they are again. I've never seen so many peas. I bet the princess in my adventure wouldn't like all those peas under her mattress. Up, up and away! Wow, that machine's big. It's washing all the peas. Can you see the steam? Round and round. Here they come. Lovely, clean, round, juicy peas. Boing, 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 boing. The peas have now been frozen. And what are they doing? They're checking the peas and taking out any bad ones. It's very noisy in here. That lady's even wearing earmuffs. They'll keep out the noise. Where are they going? They're weighing them, ready for packing. Each bag has the same number of peas in it. And there's the bags, full of peas and ready to go to the shops. I've got mine. See you later. Whoa. I'm back, Ben. Oh, no. I see. Well, of course, they must come with you. Yes, that, that'll be fine. <laughs> OK, then. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh. What now, Ben? That was my cousin, Den, on the phone. He wants to bring his children with him tomorrow. So now I've got my mum, my dad, my uncle Len and my auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife, Pen, and their children, Ken, Glenn, Brent and Sven. Where are they all going to sleep, Small? Mm. Well, Ben, we'll have to worry about that later. Oh. It's time to start cooking. Oh, yes. There's a princess in our cafe. I'd completely forgot. Ooh. Did you get the piece, Small? Certainly did. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> wow. It was brilliant. I saw this huge machine picking and podding the peas, and then the peas were taken to a factory where they were... Frozen. <laughs> so now the peas are lovely and fresh. Oh, yes. Sounds like we're all ready to cook, Small. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <music> Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy 
gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. While you are away, small, I've set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. I've also chopped up the mint. Oh, smells lovely. And here, I've rolled out all the pastry, ready to go. Do you remember the ingredients for princess pie? You do? Let's see then. There was short cross pastry, one packet, all rolled out, peas, one cupful, double cream, three tablespoons full, eggs, two, and mint. Mint, dried or fresh. All chopped up and ready to go. Whoopee! Let's get started. OK. Right, let's get the pastry ready. Now, I've cut the pastry into four slices, like that. Now, I'm going to tidy up the edges. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. There we are. And small, can you use these leftover pieces to make little pillows for the beds? Okie dokie. Good catch, small. Now put the pastry pieces onto a greased baking tray. And then fold up the edges like this to make little walls. There. How's it going, small? Here we are, big cook, Ben. Put it on the bed. Oh, yes, little cook. That looks great. On it goes. A little pillow. Ooh, that looks really comfy. I've already put some water on to boil. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. I'm putting the peas in to cook. There we are. And put the lid on, because they don't take long. All the beds are ready, Ben. Oh, they look great. Right, now I'm going to brush the egg all over the edges of the pastry. And the pillows. Mmm, yummy. I do love this recipe. It's time to mix the other egg. The cream. And the mint all together in a mixing bowl. What about the peas, Ben? Oh, yes, Small. Oh, yes. Looks like the peas are ready. Now, you don't need to leave the peas to cook for too long. They should still be bright green. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this next bit for you. Drain the peas through a colander. In they go. And now, we add them to the rest of our mixture. Oh, yes. And mash them up. Give them a good squish. There we go. Mash till they're squashy. Mash till they're mushy, mushy. Back to the mash, mash. Back to the mushy. Oh, yes. La, la, la. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Watch it, Ben! Small? How did you manage to get so messy? It wasn't me. It was... Oh, never mind. What's next? All we have to do now is spoon in the mixture onto the beds. There we go, just like that. The pastry walls should stop the mixture from running everywhere. That looks great! <sighs> I'd better go and get cleaned up. <laughs> there. That's the last one done. Right. Put the tray in the oven. Now make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. In they go. And they need to cook for 30 minutes. Hang on, I'm ready now. I'll set the timer. For 30 minutes. There we go. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet, Small. Time to clean up and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, 
wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town What great timing! The princess pies are ready! Ha ha! Let's see how they look, shall we? Mmm, yummy! Oh, they look great! Let's get them over here, shall we? They look really nice! Mmm, they smell delicious! Right, pop one of them onto a plate. There we go. And let's get them into that princess. She must be really hungry by now. Over we go. Your Royal Highness. Your Royal Highness. Oh. 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 Hello? Yes? All right. Okay then. Bye. Let me guess. You've got another visitor. Yes. My cousin children want to bring their dog as well. <gasps> so now tomorrow I've got coming my mum, my dad, my uncle Len, my auntie Jen, my cousin Bren and his wife Pen, and their children Ken, Glenn, Bren and Sven, and their dog <gasps> Rover. Where are they all going to sleep, Small? Oh look, a lovely clean plate. Oh yeah. It looks like our princess enjoyed the princess pie bed. And she's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. We were most pleased with the princess pie bed. It was delicious. By the way, as we now sleep in a, in a hammock every night, we have no need for the 20 mattresses and 20 duvets at the palace. So we wondered if you might find them useful. Brilliant! What a lovely note. And look, now I've got 20 mattresses and 20 duvets and enough room for anyone who wants to come and stay. You've only got one more thing to worry about, Ben. Oh, what's that? What are you going to feed them all? <laughs> oh, yes, I know. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. It's great to start the day with a tidy cafe. <laughs> no sign of Ben yet, though. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> Ben's not here at the moment, but he won't be long. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, ben could not make it today. He is a bit busy, so he has asked me to take his place. My name is Pierre-Francois. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at his face. I'm sure I've seen him before. <laughs> hey, why are you staring at my face? You make me all shy. I'm sure I recognize him. Hang on, that's not Pierre, that's Ben. Hey, Ben, we know it's you. <laughs> oh, you saw through my clever disguise. I thought I could fool you. Well, your coat's different and so is your hair. <laughs> And your eyeglass makes you look really distinguished. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> In fact, your voice is very different. The only thing is, your face looks exactly the same. But I've been invited to a party where everybody has to dress in disguise. A disguise is when you change the way you look, so your friends don't know who you are. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? My disguise isn't very good. Don't worry, Ben. We'll find something. We'll have to worry about my disguise later, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way! Woohoo! Way! Who's in our cafe today, Small? Well, we've got three customers in our cafe today, Ben. 
Three? Wowee! <laughs> what do they look like? Well, there's a little one, a medium-sized one, and a big one. Oh, give us another clue. They're very furry. <laughs> I'll guess in a minute. And they have horns coming out of their heads. <laughs> oh, I know who they are. They're the three billy goats gruff. You're right. The three billy goats gruff. Now, I wonder what billy goats would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was out for a walk in the countryside when I met three billy goats. A big billy goat, a medium-sized billy goat, and a little billy goat. Hello, they bleated. We're the three billy goats gruff. The billy goats were very hungry, so I shared my packed lunch with them. We don't have enough grass to eat in this field, said the little billy goat gruff. I looked at the field on the other side of the bridge, and the grass was very green. Well, why don't you cross over? I asked. We can't, said the medium-sized billy goat. There's a nasty troll living under the bridge. He's going to gobble us up. I'm sure he wouldn't do that, I said. Come on. We started to trip, 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 trap over the bridge. But sure enough, the nasty troll appeared. Who dares to trip, trip, trap across my bridge? He bellowed. How am I supposed to get rid of my headache with all this trip, trap, trip, trapping? So that's why he's so angry. I thought he's a troll with a sore head. Then I had an idea. I found some of the softest moss. And I made mossy slippers for the little billy goat, mossy slippers for the medium-sized billy goat, and mossy slippers for the big billy goat. Oh yes, and I made a pair of mossy slippers for myself too. <laughs> Wearing our mossy slippers, we pad pad padded across the bridge, and the troll didn't hear a thing. The goats were so pleased to be in the lush green field. That they made the troll a pair of goat's wool earmuffs, so that he'd never ever be disturbed by trip trip trapping. Little cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. So the three billy goats gruff feasted on tasty green grass thanks to your brilliant idea, little cook. But what can we cook for three billy goats? That's a good question, Ben. <laughs> I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, let's see. Aha! I found just the thing to remind the three Billy Goats Gruff of their adventure: a baguette bridge. That's trip trap tremendous. <laughs> you read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. Okay, let's see. We're going to need onions. Onions. Over we go. Here we are. One onions, two onions. Yep. A baguette. And what's a baguette? A long bread roll. Like this. Oh. <laughs> oil. Here we go. Got the oil small. Sugar. Got it. Cider vinegar. Oh yes. Here we are. That's in the cupboard as well. Yep. Cress. Here we go. Got the cress mall. And goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. Oh right. Okay. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. But I'm afraid we don't have any goat cheese mall. Oh no. But don't worry. Why don't you whiz off and get some, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Ghost 
small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh look, they're goats. And that goat is being milked. This is the dairy where the goat's milk is made into cheese. That's an ingredient that turns the milk into curds and whey. Now the milk has been turned into curds and whey, it has to be cut up into little pieces using a special cutter. The whey is drained away! We don't need that anymore! <laughs> The curd is used to make the cheese. It's collected into moulds and put under a press until it is set. The cheese is taken out of its mould and put in a storeroom. Yummy, yummy! I'd better get back to the kitchen with some goat's cheese. Bye! <laughs> I found the perfect disguise. Blip, 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 blip. I'm an alien. Merk, merk, blip, 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 blip. I'm an alien. I'm back. Why are you hiding behind that colander, Ben? <laughs> it's my clever disguise. I'm an alien. <laughs> no time for that now, Ben. I've brought back the goat's cheese. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Good work, Small. That was amazing. Goat's cheese is made from goat's milk, you know. The goats were really pretty and they had beards. <laughs> oh, I bet it's all lovely and creamy. Come on then, Small, let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes! Have you washed your hands? Yes! All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to cook. cook! Do you remember the ingredients to Baguette Bridge? You do! There were onions Two, thinly sliced A baguette One, cut into three Two short pieces and one long piece. Oil. Two tablespoons. Sugar. One tablespoon. Cider vinegar. Three tablespoons. Cress. A little for decoration. And goat's cheese. Five slices. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. So that's a job for your grown-up helper to do. And so is this. I've heated the oil in a medium saucepan until it's nice and hot. Then, I'm going to pour in the onions and give them a good stir until the onions are coated in the oil. Mmm! I love the smell of yummy onions while they're cooking. I wonder if I can think up a clever disguise for Ben with this greaseproof paper. When the onions are golden, it's time to add the vinegar. There we go. Slip, slop. And then we can add the sugar. Plip, plop. Give it a good old stir. Like this. And then we can cook them for another ten minutes until they're really golden. The crinkly crublet has landed. Throw down your spoons. I come in peace. <laughs> Is that you, Small? Yes, Ben. I'm trying to find you the perfect disguise. The only trouble is, I'm stuck. Can you try to unwind me? 
Okay, here goes. <laughs> Thanks for thinking up the crinkly crublet disguise for me, Small, but it looks a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, let's see if these onions are ready. Don't worry, Ben. I'll find you a disguise. Mmm, these look just right now, so I'm going to turn off the heat and then bring them across. There we go. And next, I'm going to take the two short pieces of baguette, which I've cut the ends off like this, and pop them onto a baking tray. We can eat the other bits later. And then I'm going to take the long piece of baguette, which I've cut in half like this, and I'm going to place that on the baking tray as well. And on top of that, I'm going to put the onions. And some more there. And next is the fun part. On go the slices of goat's cheese. Some there. And there. And another one there. And then another piece on there. Ho ho ho, this looks yummy small. <laughs> ha ha, I'm a knight in shining armor and I'm ready to joust. Ho ho ho. Ah! What are you up to now, Small? Hey, hey, I'm trying out another disguise, Ben. I'm being a knight in shining armor. Now stand aside. My horse is ready to charge. <laughs> are you all right, Small? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I want to be a knight in shining armor. It looks a bit dangerous. Right. Let's get on with our baguette bridge. Now, we can pop it in the oven. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Open it up, and in it goes for 10 minutes. I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. The cheese is melted now. But it doesn't really look like a bridge, Ben. It soon will. It's cool enough to touch, so I'm going to arrange the pieces of baguette on a plate like this in the shape of a bridge. There we go. And then I'm going to sprinkle some cress around the plate as a grassy riverbank. Wowee! That looks brilliant! Quick, Ben, let's give it to the three billy goats gruff while it's still nice and warm. OK, then. One baguette bridge coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And it looks like the Billy Goats Gruff enjoyed the baguette bridge. Look, Small, they've left a note. 
Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? <laughs> it says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, thank you for the yumptious baguette bridge. Woohoo! We are enjoying our new field very much. Here are Small's mossy shoes that we left by the bridge in case the troll isn't wearing his earmuffs when Small visits us again. Whoopee! My little mossy shoes! I knew I'd left them somewhere. <laughs> oh, hang on, Small, there's more. Here's something to help with Ben's disguise. Big bleats from the three billy goats gruff. Ho ho! <laughs> Look, Small! Hey! <laughs> it's a goatee beard! <laughs> Let's put it on with the rest of the disguise! <laughs> I can't wait for the party now! <laughs> this is gonna be great! <laughs> How do I look? Like a right silly Billy! <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't recognize you now, Ben! Now I've got the perfect disguise! <laughs> See, See you soon! soon. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world! Today is a very special day because I've been sent a present by my Auntie Betty. Now, where is it? Hey, can you see where it is? What, over here? It's not there. Where? What, over here? Oh, it's not there either. Oh. Now, where can it be? <laughs> Fooled you! Oh, <laughs> very funny, Small. <laughs> Hello! Right, let's see what Auntie Betty sent. Open up the box. Here we are. Lift off the lid. Oh, look! Auntie Betty sent me a woolly jumper. Oh. Hey, it's made out of wool, and wool comes from sheep. <laughs> Let's see it on, shall we? Oh, yes. It must have taken ages for Auntie Betty to knit that. Hoo -hoo. It's lovely. Hey, now where's a mirror so I can see it on? Um, oh, the cooker. Oh, that looks great on you, Ben. Oh, no. I can't see anything in there. Where's that mirror? I'm sure it was here somewhere. No, not in there. Where could it be, Small? Ben! Oh, Ben! I'm sure I've left it somewhere. What about round here? It's Auntie Betty's jumper. It's... 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 Hey, <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh, dear! Oh, it's all unravelling, Small! Oh, poor Auntie Betty! What am I going to do? Oh. oh, we've got a customer, Small! You better go and see who it is, and I'll try and sort this jumper out. What am I going to tell Auntie Betty? I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer, Small? I'll give you a clue. It's someone who's lost something. Well, lots of things, actually. Things that go... Bah! <laughs> sheep. Someone who's lost her sheep. And that person is Little Bo Peep. Really? Little Bo Peep's come to our cafe? Oh, yes. I bet she's hungry, though, Small. So what are we going to cook for Little Bo Peep who's lost her sheep? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, Little Bo Peep was sitting alone knitting. Hello, Little Bo Peep. I said, what are you knitting? Oh, said Little Bo Peep sadly, I'm just missing. You see, I'm feeling very, very sad because I've lost all my sheep. 
Why don't we try calling your sheep? I said. Maybe they'll come back if you call them. Oh, I've tried that, <laughs> sniffed little Bo Peep. Listen, come back, come back, sheep, come back! Oh, it was the loudest shouting I had ever heard. It made me cover my ears. No wonder the sheep weren't coming back. Little Bo Peep, I said. I think I've got a better idea. Maybe your sheep don't like shouting, I said. Maybe they like singing. Oh yes, said Little Bo Peep. And so I played the guitar, and Little Bo Peep sang along. Sheep, 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 sheep. It was an awful racket. I had another think, and then I said, "Why don't we try this?" Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. She doesn't know where to find them. Sing them a song. They'll come along, wagging their tails behind them. And the sheep came back. They liked the song Little Bo Peep and I were singing so much that they were back in no time. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. You're right, Small. But we still don't know what to make for Bo Peep to eat. Way! Time for some serious thinking, Ben. That's right. What does someone who's lost their sheep want for a tasty snack? I know. Big Cook's big cookery book. Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Yes, here it is. The very thing for Little Bo Peep. A potato sheep. We turn a potato into a sheep. What a clever idea! Come on then, Small. You read out the ingredients, and I'll see if we've got them. Okay, let's see. We're going to need olives. Okay, in the cupboard. Here we are. Olives. Got them, Small. A baking potato. Oh, in the fridge. One potato. Got it. Cheese. Oh yes, lovely cheese. Oh, and thick yogurt. Yogurt, yogurt. Oh, don't seem to have any of that. Right. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe, apart from the yogurt. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll just whiz off and get some. Woohoo! Righto, and I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, what a lovely day! These sheep are in a hurry. What are they up to? The farmer is attaching some pipes to the sheep so they can be milked. That's the sheep's milk. Mmm, delicious. This milk is going to be used to make yogurt. First of all, the milk has to be heated up and stirred in this machine. Then it has to be cooled down again. Before the yogurt can be eaten, it has to be poured into pots and left in the fridge for a while. A pot of delicious yogurt made from sheep's milk. Best to get back to the cafe. Bye. <laughs> Way! I'm back. Did you get the yogurt? I certainly did. Wow! Hoo -hoo. It 
It was brilliant, Ben. I saw how sheep's yoghurt is made. And I even met a few sheep as well. <laughs> Any sign of little Bo Peep sheep? Nope. Still lost. We better make her a tasty snack to cheer her up. <laughs> We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients of Bo Peep sheep? You do? There were olives. Two. Chopped up. A baking potato. One. Cheese. One cup. Grated. And thick yoghurt. Three teaspoons. Whoopee! Let's get started! The first thing to do is put the potato onto a greased baking tray. There we are. And then I'm going to prick it with a fork. There we go. And again. Turn it over. And one there. And another one there. This will help it to cook. And then let's put it in the oven. So, oven gloves on. Over we go. Just leave that there. Open the oven. And in it goes. Great. And I'm going to set the oven to 230 degrees Celsius, gas mark 8. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Keep it in the oven for 45 minutes. I'll set the timer. There we go. 45. Ready. Take out the potato. Great. Let's turn it into a sheep. Not yet, Small. We've got to let it cool down first. Just enough so we can touch it with our fingers without getting burnt. OK, OK. We won't turn it into a sheep yet. We'll wait. Sheep? Wool? Oh, jumpers. What am I going to do about my jumper, Small? What am I going to tell Auntie Betty? Oh, dear. Oh. Don't worry, Ben. We'll sort it out later. Has the potato cooled yet? Let's see. Yes, it has, Small. It's cool enough to touch. Hooray! Now let's turn it into a sheep. I've cut the potato in half. There we are. And I'm going to scoop out the fluffy potato. Nice and soft. Careful. Out it comes. Pop it into a bowl. There we are. Hee hee! It's fluffy. Just like a fluffy sheep. <laughs> yes, it is small. So, all the potato into the bowl. And I'm going to add some of the grated cheese. In it goes. A little bit more. There we go. I've put in most of it there. And finally, I'm going to add two teaspoons of the yoghurt. One. And two. And then mix it all up together. Ben, what happened to the rest of the potato? The brown crispy bits on the outside? The potato skins? They're here, Small. They're very important, those bits, aren't they, Ben? Yes, they are. Because I'm now going to spoon the fluffy, yogurty, cheesy mixture back into the potato skins. So, spoonful into this one. A little bit more. There we go. Fill it up. And then to do the other one. In it goes. Back in the skin. In you go. And I think one more little spoonful. Pop that there. 
And finally, I'm going to add the rest of the grated cheese. Sprinkle it over. Oh, yes, very nice. And now it's time to put it back in the oven for 15 minutes. Yes, it is small. So, oven gloves out. Pop the potatoes onto a baking tray. And take them back over to the oven. Here we are. Put them there. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes, all done. And all lovely and golden. It doesn't look that much like a sheep. But that's what we do next. So, I'm going to pop this potato onto a plate. There we go. And now, I'm going to take one more blob of yoghurt and pop it on. There we are. This is going to be the sheep's face. Remember the olives? Well, here's where you find out what we do with them. They're going to be used for the sheep's eyes. Hey, <laughs> one there. And another one there. Let's give her some ears as well. There we go. Pop another one round here. And not to forget the sheep's legs. At the bottom. There we go, two there. And another two up the front. Oh, she looks great. Ha! You mean... <laughs> and I'm just going to finish her off with a few sprigs of parsley. There. Let's get it off to little Bo Peep. One Bo Peep sheep coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bob The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha, here comes the plate Oh, and it looks like Bo Peeps enjoyed her potato sheep and look small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? Oh, it says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my Bo Peep sheep. It was delicious. <laughs> Here's two presents for you both to say thank you. Big Cook and Little Cook. Oh, what could it be? Oh, look small. It's another woolly jumper. And it's just like the one that Auntie Betty gave me. Now you won't have to tell her about what happened to the first one. Hooray! <laughs> oh. oh, and look small. There's something else in here for you. A little Bo Peep hat just for me. <laughs> here you go, small. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> what do you think? Hoo-hoo! Ha-ha! Aww! Don't you mean? Bye! <laughs> See you soon! See you soon! Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs>